If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. Cleveland, where they had no offseason, like everybody else, no offseason for a first-year coach for young players, assimilate a new uh, system. Did you did you understand that that would be a problem or a challenge for the Browns? Been a big challenge for the 49ers. No, it wasn't. Uh, you know, Harbaugh guy did I'm, okay, really, but, I, I, I'm not thinking that way. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't concern us, you know. It's history on the one hand, and secondly, it's you know that's, those are their issues. You know? We got plenty of issues that we're dealing with. We we think the Browns are really formidable. You know, um, every time we, we line up against them, you know maybe it's different. Like when you're in your own home city, I think the natural thing is to look at all the issues and say, boy, they're not this, they're not that, they're not the other thing. Our fans, because you know you do, you look at your your weaknesses and you say, we got to get better in these areas. When you look at an opponent, you look at all their strengths. And we look at the Browns and the Bengals and the Steelers, and we see all their strengths, and these are the things that we've got to neutralize and contend with. And the Browns have lots of strengths, and they've got really good players and really good coaches. And, uh, you know, as an opponent, that's what we have to deal with. Thank you. Aren't you glad you came over here? I did. It's entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think if you look at it objectively, you know, the sacks were down, uh, the rushing the rushing yards were up, and, and that's probably the number one uh, term, you know, that's what you look at in the offensive line, offensive line coach. But you look, you delve deeper than that. You know, we had some real issues. We brought in a left tackle. It turned out that, our left, you know, right at the end, and, and Bryant, he, and he was new right before the start of the regular season. The left guard turned out to be new after the first game when Ben got hurt. That's tough. And I thought Andy did a great job of, uh, of coaching those guys and, and improving them. There were some rough patches, you know, and there were probably some patches near that we would have won one of those games where we had some rough patches and we would have had home field all the way through. You know, we recognize that. I get that. You know, I understand that. Uh, but I also recognize that we were fighting like crazy to be the best we could be, you know. And, and I thought Andy did a good job and we got better even with those issues. Well, I don't know. Are there a lot of pass rushers out there? You think? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, and your point's really well taken because your point is this: is that we're what are we three weeks now in the free agency about? And your point is that pass rushing is a really valuable position, and they're gone. You know. And not to say that guys won't come available or you know, there won't be some unique guys. So we'll keep our ears open for that. But probably more of our attention is turned toward our guys, developing our guys, and then toward the draft as far as the pass rush. It's not, I don't think it's a deep draft for offensive line. I think they're, uh, uh, it's a good, the, the guys that are here in the draft are very good. So some really good players. Uh, if they're there when we get a chance to pick, you know, obviously we'll be excited about it. But no, I don't think it's a deep draft. Do you see it as deep one for wide receivers? Haven't, haven't had a chance to study the wide receivers enough yet. That's uh, that's next on the agenda, so I'll let you know. Based on our board, I'd say yes. It's a deep draft for wide receivers. Do you see, I mean, if you were to draft a wide receiver, it's just you already have a very young wide receiver core, you know. Is there more value in adding a, another veteran, you know, with him on or? Is right. bringing on a young guy is still a good thing too. Yeah, yeah either way would be good, Ryan. I mean, if we if we if there was a veteran out there that uh, or a guy that gets released, you know, that'd be good to add. We'd be okay with that. Uh, and the young guy would be good too. And I got my cards like right here against my chest, you know, <laughs> young guy, veteran guy, offensive line, wide receiver. Uh, but I, you know, our fans know our issues. You know, our fans know, you know. Just like we know, you know, where we're stronger, where we're a little bit weaker. So we'll, we'll, we'll take the best available player, the right player in the right place, but at the same time, you're going to lean toward your needs. And hopefully, a, a, a position of need will be there, you know, when it's time for us to pick. Right. Well, Isaiah is a guy, as you know, we brought in for a visit. So obviously we have an interest in him. 
and uh, he's a, he's one of the premier special teams players, and we definitely could add him into the mix. Um, but he's got a health issue or two that he's working through right now. We're just going to see how that expresses itself, so, see how that plays out. That's good. If you love Baltimore sports, you'll love WNST.net. 